Welcome to a new tutorial on learning Lua. In today's tutorial we're going to begin working with meta methods and meta tables. One of the things that we run into in working with the Lua language or other programming languages for that matter is that frequently we need to redefine how operations need to happen. For example, let's say I have two tables. I've got my table 1 and my table 2. Both of them have an internal key set as the name value and that value is set equal to 100 and 200 respectively. If I wanted to add these two tables together that's going to throw an error. As you can see in the error below we are getting an error where I'm attempting to perform arithmetic on a table value specifically my table 1 and my table 2. This is because the programming language, the scripting language, does not know how to handle the addition of table 1 to table 2. Utilizing meta methods, we can define how a table, or an object in this case, as we talked about in our previous tutorial, tables are objects and they, are, they allow us the ability to create extensible or descriptive functions and routines that describe how to handle specific operations. So just as with any other method, I can create a method that is then tied to a table that addresses how I want certain operations to be handled. These generally, specifically with meta methods, handle how to override other methods. Um, they must be registered with the parent table using the command set meta table. So to get the ball rolling, uh, to do a very simple introduction, we're going to look at how can we add two tables together. This is done by replacing in the scripting language the plus command and giving it a new descriptive. In meta method speech this means that we're going to change the signature which is a double underscore 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 add and we're going to tell it how to handle A and B or how to add A to B or B to A. This meta method that we're going to create will be called anytime that we are using the plus sign associated with the specific table that we're working with. So in our first example we saw we got an error. So let's move on to an example that utilizes a meta method. Here I've created a meta method. I named it my meta method underscore add because it's going to be my meta method and it's going to handle adding a table to another table. It's defined as a function so I've set local my meta method underscore add equal to a function. It's going to receive an X and a Y or two tables and it will return a table with the value set equal to X's value plus Y's value. So let's take a look at how this operates. I've got two tables just as I did before and now that we have defined my meta method for add and created that as a function I'm going to set that equal to inside of its own variable I've created the variable meta table and set that equal to double underscore add equals my meta method underscore add and again that is, that's stored inside of the table then we need to set the equivalency or we need to associate this meta method with the table that we need it to work on. That's done with the set meta table command. So set meta table, I'm going to set it associate my table one, which we've defined up here. We're going to set its meta method to meta table. So in my meta table, we've said add is going to use the function my meta method add. Thus, any time in the future where I am adding something to table 1, it's going to automatically use this method for the addition. And then you can see the results, printing new tables value. This is a very simple example of what can be done with meta methods. We can replace a number of key functionalities associated with tables with meta methods just telling Lua how to handle each of these functions or each of these operations for that object or that table. So let's say this again in slightly different language. I've created a function 
with that function, I've told it that this function is going to replace the addition functionality or the plus functionality. The plus functionality is overwritten with the double underscore add and that is now set equal to my meta method underscore add. So this function replaces a normal plus operation. So anytime now that my table one is associated in an addition calculation, it's going to use this method to do that calculation. This was a very simple introduction to meta methods. I'm going to show new examples on how we can use meta methods with our tables and objects and be able to do closer to object-oriented programming utilizing the Lua scripting language. If you want to go get some good written material, I include in both the appendices of beginning mobile app development with Corona and learning mobile application and game development with Corona a extensive description of working with meta methods in the appendices. So those might be helpful to you as well. Of course, they will also be helpful if you're interested in developing mobile applications with Corona SDK. We have a lot more tutorials and lessons forthcoming. If you'd like to follow what's happening, you can follow us on Twitter at Dr. Brian Burton or Facebook at Burton's Media Group or follow us on our website, burtonsmediagroup.com. If you'd like notification through YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button. 